Stay. Red. Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. We are out here on my lease field. This is my first lease field. This is my old lease field. Y'all haven't been here in forever. And look who we got with us. Y'all know the deal. We got old Frederick. Now, today, today I'm pretty sure is the last day that Fred and I will be together. Come on, Fred. He's whining. Come on, buddy. Come here, Frederick. Let's go. Come on. He wants out. That's my boy. Sit. Good boy. Hi, buddy. You say hi to everybody. Oh, he's just like, oh, I remember this spot, Dad. Yep, you've been here quite a few times. Like I was saying, today is Fred and I's last day, so I wanted to make it special with me and Fred. I wanted to take him out, have a beautiful day together. It's beautiful outside. I want to have a good day together. Let him have fun with me uh, before he goes to the trainer tomorrow. Yes, we'll have a video over it. And yes, there's a ton of dog training videos to come. Videos all the way from starting your puppy all the way up through two years old all the way through just off-season training. So be expecting those videos. Y'all have been wanting them for a long time, but check out the unit. Now today, we'll be able to use the golf cart a little bit. We got a lot of rain. You can see the mud. This is our entry point here. My little sheet water pond that y'all know. This is my first lease I ever got. Y'all remember that one? Yes, I'm getting so many duck leases now, I need to start naming them. If y'all think I should name the duck leases so you guys know which ones I'm talking about, Drop a comment down below and let's name this one. But anyways, all the rain, it should be beautiful and it should be full. I guarantee it's full and it's lovely. But before we get into it, check it out. This is what we're working with today. I brought this along. I put this on my Instagram, on my story the other day. And a lot of you were like, Bobby, what is that? This is a DT Systems 22 caliber dummy launcher, y'all. Big shout out to DT for sending it to me. It's an awesome unit. Look, Fred's like, I'm already going to heal. I'm ready to go. Fred loves it. This thing is a lifesaver, especially when you have a trained dog that can heal and sit and wait to go on command. So that's number one. Number two, I bought a new GoPro. So we're going to put the old GoPro on Frederick in the water. Yeah, you ready, buddy? And number three, check this out. I just got back from the post office. Y'all sent something, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. All right, so check it out. I had to open it up off camera here just to make sure <laughs> that it was appropriate. Because I started opening it up, I'm like, hey, wait, this ain't what I think it is. But big shout out to Mario. I already read your letter. And a big fan of the YouTube channel. Check this out. This is everything uh, that he sent. This is from Lucky Buck Mineral. Check this out. Looks like a custom Lucky Buck, some Buck Mineral to put out in front of the old game camera. Oh, yeah. Sent me some swag, Lucky Buck. Thanks, man. And then this is really cool. This is a plucker for birds. Looks like you throw it on the end of a drill. That looks awesome. Again, thanks, Mario, at Lucky Buck, dude. I appreciate that. I will use that. And if y'all want to send something to the channel, the PO box is linked down in the description below. A ton of you have been sending stuff for the lodge. I have to show you it all. So again, just make sure it's legal, respectful, and appropriate. <laughs> Let's go, Frederick. Man, I hope we don't get this golf cart stuck. I think we'll be good. Uh, we're out here for a couple reasons today. Uh, the first one, obviously, to have fun with Fred, like I had stated. Today is the last day that he'll be home with us. Yes, it's sad. Oh, but I'm gonna be with him training every week, providing you guys these videos. So just stay tuned. Number two, I wanna, I wanna, ooh, three ducks just got off. Three ducks just got off of my pond. That's good news. Anyways, number two is there's a pit blind out here that some of you have seen, and it's like a one to two man pit blind. It's really small and it needs revamped. It needs completely restored. A lot of the concrete's kind of caved in and I want to take a look at it and I want to get your guys' two cents if I should tackle it or not and make it functional again. I would really like to. Uh, it's already there. That means I don't have to have no permission from the farmer to dig a hole. It's already there. So. I'd really like to put it to use, especially for the small hunts, you know? But we will go see it in a minute. We are almost to the water. Old Frederick, he's loving life. That's the Frederick. Look at the ducks getting up, boys. 
There's a bunch of spoonies. <laughs> and teal. Oh my gosh. Well, they're going down. We're going to be able to see them again here in just a little bit. But it is flooded. It is full, just like I expected. Wow. Woo, she's looking good, Freddie. She's looking good, buddy. Look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. So this is not supposed to be here. This is all flooded, like I said. The hole is beyond those reeds and cattails way over there. So we're going to have to walk the rest away. The old golf cart, she's just not going to do it. Oh boy, howdy. There is a lot of frogs out here. We are going to do some frog gigging. As I'm filming now, I don't see any, but as when we started walking, there's about 20 big ones. We're going to try to get close to uh, them ducks to see what kind they are here. Ooh, look at all the teal. My goodness. Ooh, boys, we got birds a flying. Oh, teal birds. Ah. Look, they don't want to leave. They're going to keep circling me here. Gorgeous. Well, I'm glad to see that the bank here has got some water on it because, little heads up, I'm going to need y'all's help out here yet again. This ain't the only time. With the pit blind, I'm gonna need y'all's help because I wanna plant some millet out here. I've been trying to Google what the best time of year for Kansas and everything else it seems like. Looks like the rule of thumb is to wait until the soil is at least 65 to 70 degrees. So, we're gonna have to wait a little while. Well, we're all set up out here. Fred, you ready to go? Check it out. We got the <laughs> new GoPro 7 Black. Yes, the one that I just replaced. A brand new one that I haven't even used yet on the back of Frederick and he's ready to go. We're all set up. Now what this is, is this is just the bang. Nothing comes out of there, it's just the bang to launch the dummy. So, slap that on. I'll show you this mechanism next. You ready to go, buddy? Let's turn on the GoPro. Ready to go, look, he wants lovin's. He knows, he knows. I'm gonna miss him, darn it. Oh, it's gonna be hard not having him laying beside my bed every night. All righty, here we go. Ready, Frederick, set. Stay. Set. Stay. Fred. Fred. I really hope that GoPro don't come off. My bird, good boy, set. Oh, Freddy! Now, these dummy launchers, this is what's nice, is I can stand here, it gives the sound of a gun. The sound of the gun is a big thing for new dogs, y'all. Nope, 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 dead bird, dead bird, heel, good, heel, set. My bird, good boy, set. Again, today, I have uh, just my basic tips for y'all. Today, it's all about Fred having fun. One thing I'm asked the most is, Bobby, I just got a puppy. Uh, what did you, how did you train Fred for him to be where he was? When you get a puppy, guys, up through that six to seven month range, you're gonna want the word sit and steal. You're gonna want the word, eh, maybe not play so much, but sit, sit. Now the word stay and sit, I use stay now because Fred understands what stay means, but at the beginning, try not to use stay. Sit should mean sit until told otherwise. But when Fred goes to the trainer, what we're gonna be focusing on is uh, shopping. Y'all have watched old Frederick, he loves to shop. It's became a very bad habit. The last time uh, that we pigeon hunted, I was really frustrated because he was just rusty and uh, it's not his fault. He needs to be trained every day. He's gonna be a hardcore, literally hardcore working dog come this winter. So let's send her again. 
I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. So this pops open and then it shoves the shell out. Take your shell out and reload this bad boy with the new shell. You put it in there and then you close her up, close your lever, boom. And then you throw your dummy on, boom. You ready, buddy? Look at him, he can't wait. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here is the yellow load set. Fresh! to give it one more go now that we got some shallow water here he can really run pretty fast and he enjoys it set Press. Woo, that boy is gone <laughs> he loves this shallow water like I said just loving it look at him I'm gonna miss my guy good boy heel right here right here set my bird. Good boy, set. Come on, buddy. I'll tell you what, uh, for a long time, y'all told me, Bob, you need a dog. Stop retrieving your own birds. And uh, I've told my story a lot. And the reason why I didn't get one for a long time was I was scared that I didn't have enough time to train him. Now, he did awesome his first year. Look at him in the wheat. <laughs> oh, he is just loving it. But it wasn't as hard as I thought. Do not, don't think that you can't do it. If you've never trained a retriever, don't think that you're not able to do it. All you gotta do is look up a little bit of help on YouTube. Now there's a lot of YouTube channels out there that provide dog training help, but if you like the channel and you wanna stick around for them, like I said, we'll be, we'll be providing y'all complete dog training tips for puppies, all the way up through Frederick, all the way up through the four and five year old dogs to keep them fresh, you know? We got the old golf cart just pinned. <laughs> the old golf, I'm telling you what, this golf cart flies. Come on, Frederick. Well, here we are. We're not gonna be able to drive in on this one, boys. We're just not gonna be able to. We're gonna have a lot of walking down that tree row. Man, there's a ton of frogs. Woo! Frederick when it's frogging season. So this is the wheat field. Uh, the whole thing's flooded. Every corner, every low spot is flooded. And I'm talking really flooded. Uh, we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to find the pit blind here because everything's so un overgrown that it's actually pretty hard to find. I'm glad we didn't. Oh, we might be all right. I thought it was gonna be flooded under, but it starts to dry up real quick up here. Now right here, y'all have seen a lot of hunts. Right here, I usually stick an A-frame in this thick grass, all this tall grass, a couple A-frames, and on a north wind, this is an amazing little hide and hunt. But right here somewhere is the pit blind. Where are you at? It's literally right here, so that's where we sat, I can tell. Yep, that's where I had an A-frame, check it out. <laughs> I can tell, look, this is where Frederick was setting. Whoop, that's where he went out to the decoys. But like I said, this pit blind is right here somewhere. There it is. Check that out. Yep. That's what I was afraid of. Nope, get back. That's what I was afraid of. It's full of water. So as you can tell on this pit blind, there's look at all the frogs in there. Look at all the frogs in there. Oh my goodness. Frederick, when it's gigging season, it is on. Oh my goodness, there is probably a hundred frogs in there. Some even dead. But it is full of water. As you can tell, like right here, right there, all the concrete is all caved in. Looks like it's due to a farmer probably falling in it uh, with a tractor at one point. But I think uh, if I pumped it out, we could pump it out pretty quick with a trash pump. And then, since it's wet, it may be pretty easy to uh, dig it out. 
you know. So, do you all think that I should tackle this? Should I wait until rainy season's over? It's probably a good idea. But this right here, it would fit probably, you know, there, that's actually a chair right there. It's a two-manner for sure. Little two-man hunts, that'd be fun. <laughs> he's just a good dog man i'm telling you what big shout out to will Patton. uh if y'all have been here long enough you remember who will is will is the subscriber the dog trainer the breeder that gave me fred yes one of y'all if you're if you're new to the channel and you don't know the whole story about fred he had parvo i had to spend quite some money to get him healthy again and then not only that trained him had to get him back uh in shape he was he was not looking good but again, I just want to say big shout out to Will Patton. Uh, you gave me a good dog. Look at him. He just, all he wants to do is please me. That's it. That is all he wants to do, man. He's a good boy. I need y'all's help again. Should I do this? Man, the way it looks. It's a good thing. Check it out. This whole wall right here, if you can see it, that's a concrete wall. The south wall looks good. Uh, this west wall looks pretty decent and not messed up, but it's this north wall that's all broken up pretty bad. So, first of all, getting the water out of it, digging it out, and uh, what I'm real afraid of is the concrete slabs in there are going to be pretty darn big to try to move by hand. So, give me some help. If you have some tips, uh, if you think I should do it, which I know y'all are going to want me to, it's going to be a lot of work, but having it man look at you, you are just you're gone i mean when you get down in there you are way low compared to the field always wanted to do it and i think there's no better time than now now that it's summer gerald you gotta help me <laughs> well it is time to load her up boys yep the old golf cart thank goodness for it it's gonna come in clutch this season to come i'm telling you what and getting in the fields easy quiet light you know well we're back here at the lodge and like usual this time of year it is raining yet again the lease field is going to be extra full and the fields are just going to be extra muddy but like i said back here at the lodge uh, building is underway as you can tell the lodge is a mess Lodge building videos to come, don't worry. But I got some mail that I wanna show you guys real quick, check it out. But before we get into it here, I do wanna remind you guys that I have a handful, just literally a handful of dates available for group sizes anywhere from two to three guys up to eight to 10 guys. So get a hold of me on Instagram. That's the easiest way to get a hold of me to book a hunt to see what dates are available and to check what the rates are here at the lodge. But let's get into it here. Huge, huge shout out to Totem Lanyards. Look at this. Uh, they burned in Sand Hill Flyway. How sweet. This is a sweet duck tote and another tote. Now these can be used for dove and duck, but look at that. Got Sand Hill Flyway on there again. Two amazing custom leather totes. Huge shout out yet again to Michael at Totem Duck Lanyards. Give them a follow. These guys make quality custom totes just like this. Dove and duck totes. That's what they specialize in is dove and duck. <sighs> I keep opening packages. There's so many to show y'all. Look at this. This is probably one of the uh, most sincere, one of the most special gifts I have ever got. Uh, Levi Kepke, you, sir, are a gentleman and a very fine Marine. Uh, he put Semper Fi all over his note. Check it out. I don't want to show his phone number, but right here, Levi Kepke, uh, he actually sent, let, let me read it real quick. He goes on by saying he's a big fan. He can't wait to get out of the Marines here to get back home to make some hunting videos like I'm doing, but check this out. He said, here's one of my name patches and Lance corporal chevrons yeah the button right there lance corporal chevrons thought it'd be something cool and different if you'd like i could get some that say guy if you want let me know how amazing is that who just gives a guy their lance corporal chevron pin wow that is amazing dude levi 
Levi, thank you. Uh, these things like this, uh, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do. When the lodge is done, somewhere on the wall, maybe in here, this will all be built in. Somewhere on the wall, I'm gonna have a little showcase, you know, like glass, and then you can put stuff up in it. That is one thing that'll go up in there. That is amazing. That is amazing. I have a ton of other things to show you guys, but we are literally running out of time in the video. If you guys want to send anything uh, to the channel to be opened up, the P.O. box, like I said, is down in the description. You can send anything. Just make sure it's appropriate, legal, and respectable. And I really enjoy things for the lodge, just like that. I love stuff for the lodge. So, big shout out to all you guys sending things. Uh, I feel very privileged to have you guys here in my life. And I want to thank you guys for always being here. Without you guys, the channel wouldn't keep going. Without you guys purchasing Ducks merch, the channel wouldn't be here. I always want to remind you guys because it's important to me and it means a ton. But thank you all for being here. Big shout out to my notification squad for smacking that bell down there. It'll notify you when I upload. Subscribe if you haven't. We're coming at you all with uploads every other day at minimum. But until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL Got a girl that keeps it real